exception there, but either way, some truly impressive stuff. And it looks like we've got that player ready. So we're going to bring him in now. It looks like we have Victor standing by from Envy to talk to us. Victor, for our Verizon post-match interview. First of all, congratulations. Second of all, are you guys okay? Because that was an absolute gauntlet of a matchup. Uh, yeah, we're good. Um, definitely was a long series. And we definitely felt it was it felt longer than normal. Very long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we completely agree with you, especially for FaZe. I mean, six maps for them today, but obviously you guys sending them home in Ascent. And when it came down to Ascent, I got some questions about this one because FaZe, not doing too hot on this today, but you guys looked absolutely electric. Going into Ascent, how are you guys feeling about this matchup? Uh, so historically, FaZe has kind of been kind of been good against us like we struggle against their really aggressive high paced style or sorry fast paced style uh but we got all our all we literally made all the mistakes we could yesterday literally against sentinels it was like five or six rounds where a key mistake was made and lost us the round so i think it was really good for us to play that match earlier to just to get our mistakes all out and none of those mistakes were made today uh yeah it didn't really matter as far as the map goes ascent has been like pretty solid pick for us but yeah i'm curious as to on map number two why the decision was made just take us through it uh what was what was the point of bringing yay onto the sage there for the second map when obviously he's been traditionally playing the jet for you guys i believe in every other matchup till that point uh so in practice we we tried uh yay out on J uh, jet and he wasn't really having too much success on it uh and he himself wanted to, he himself said like all right guys i'll just play sage I, just, I i know it's better and i just feel like i have more impact on sage than jet on this map yeah, I would have to totally agree with you. You guys got a lot of traction out of that. And it was shown so early on with that ice wall on U-Haul as well, where you guys just locked FaZe inside. It's like, okay, what are you going to do now? You really can't try and motion out. Somebody's got a shorty. You can't take the gunfights that you want. But either way, I mean, for you guys, you guys have had a lot of changes uh, as of late, especially Ye coming into the mix. And he really seems like the catalyst for you guys to find the success that you've been looking for. An incredible player, especially on the jet. And we saw a lot of that today. So what's it been like working him into the mix uh if i'm being honest like we've only had a few days of practice so honestly we just plugged and played him and we told him like go for whatever peaks you want to do make whatever plays you want to make just tell us and we'll support us the best we can like because we didn't want to change his comfort zone like whatever he was doing on inbox was working clearly so we didn't really want to change his comfort zone and we just said tell us what you want to do we'll play off you very cool. Out of the teams left now sitting in front of you here on the bracket, is there any specifically you guys are worried the most about potentially playing against here? Or do you guys feel you're ready to face off against the rest of the North American uh, region? Sorry, I don't even know who's left, to be honest. I was just so focused on the match. I think it's... <laughs> I, I don't even know who we're playing right now. I would play next. So, I don't know. I believe that's going to come down to either X set or Rise for your next yeah, matchup. Yeah, yeah. So, let's, so let's say between those two. Between X set and Rise, I'd say... I think we've, I think I'd feel more comfortable against Exet to be honest, because Rise like you can tell they just really all believe in each other. They're all, they're having a really hot run as of as of late. Um, Exet obviously Exet is not a bad team. I'm not saying that, but <laughs> I feel like they're more like they're more our style. They're more similar to us, so we we're more comfortable playing against that kind of style where we're like they're very similar to us in the way that they slow slow take slowly take map control and then they make a decision mid round. Well, thank you very much, Victor. We want to thank you one more time for jumping in here and answering all of our questions. I know you guys had that very long match, so I don't want to keep you too long. Just one final one here. Anyone you want to give a shout out or anything you want to give a shout out to the audience for here? <laughs> all right. This is the event, guys. This is the event where we finally break the fourth curse. Well, apparently it's going to happen. I mean, Victor said it here first, folks. So that, that means it has to be true. I think that that's how that works. So, Victor, thank you so much for coming on for our Verizon post-match interview. You've been an absolute treat, my man. Thank you. Thank you to you guys, too. See you later. All right, Victor, we'll catch you later. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to round out our show for the Bravo Street.